Good morning. I'm uh, going to water the trees this morning, but I hope you can hear me over the traffic. Um, the chickens, the dogs, <coughs> the uh, all the other noise. But let me start off by saying this is for entertainment purposes only. And these opinions are mine, my opinions only. So I was getting ready to water the trees this morning, fruit trees. And uh, I got to thinking about this bug going around, you know. And uh, I said, uh, and I read an article in Forbes, Forbes, uh, whatever, online newspaper, about in New York City, 66% of the people that got the bug are, uh, Damn hose, sorry. 66% of the people who got the bug got it by remaining sequestered, meaning inside their building, wherever they live. So that got me to thinking. Okay. If 66% of the people in the Big Apple, I'm about to shot myself in the face. In the Big Apple, <clears throat> speaking of apple, there's my apple tree. I just planted it last year. But 66% uh, people are getting the bug from being indoors. Why do they want us indoors? Okay. Would you think that they want us to get sick? So that maybe they can uh, come in with their uh, vaccine and their chip or whatever they're going to do? Sounds kind of odd to me. People in New York, New York City better start questioning their mayor. Better start questioning your governor. You know? Because... When I was born, at a young age, I decided I was going to live my life, not exist. People that stay cooped up all the time are a lot more sick. Hey, I'm overweight. I got high blood pressure, asthma, but I'm active. Active as I possibly can be. I got to take care of this whole... We got a little over two acres here. We got to water the pasture, feed the horses, feed the chickens. You know, it's uh. But at least one thing I do is I stay active. I don't think they want people to stay active. I think they want the people to suffer, and then die. The only thing I can think of why they wouldn't want them to get out and live. If you're gonna die, you might as well live because uh, if you have never lived life, you've never lived. <laughs> well, anyway, I just thought that was kind of odd that uh, you know all the people getting sick are the ones inside. Think about it. My wife's been out and about. Not as much as me, but she has a lot more health problems. She has an autoimmune disease, real bad asthma. She has 65% lung capacity, but she still goes out and does, and she hasn't gotten sick yet either. So she even had the antibody test and didn't have it, hadn't even been sick. So, you know, my theory, now this is my opinion only, on these meat packers getting it, COVID is COVID is natural the bug because you can't say that word because it's a bad word my apricot tree it's about five years old someday I'll get some fruit off of it 
But uh, COVID is natural in animals. Okay. And there's only one way for it to be transparent to human, and that's if it's been engineered. See? Bioengineered. So, you know, you can sit there and believe what Dr. Focke says or, or whoever, but I would go and listen to Dr. Buttar or Dr. Shavi. A very, very smart gentleman. It's also kind of funny that um, the uh, at the beginning some of the doctors were treating patients with hydrochloronique and uh, zinc and things. And now the uh, pharmacist, and that's been FDA tested for 60 years. They use it on malaria and stuff. Okay. So, all of a sudden, the pharmacists won't sell it to the doctors. Now, if that's not a red flag, I don't know what a red flag is. Because that's crazy. That they won't even sell it, to, uh, prescribe it anymore because the doctors want it. And these are doctors who have been practicing for 30 years. That these... They go to the clinic, they won't take care of them. So they send them home. Well, then they start calling around the other doctors. Well, yeah, come on down. Well, this one doctor, I can't remember her name. She's been doing medicine for 30 years, starts treating them with this hydrochloronique. And they start recovering within 48 hours. But no, that's not good enough. That doesn't fit our agenda of a vaccine with a microchip in it. So. You know, you just start questioning your legislators. The guys you're voting for this fall, you just start questioning these people. Tell them what the hell is going on. My apple tree planted it last year. I wasn't watering them good enough this year. and They uh, started wilting a little bit on me. Got a little hot too fast. Not, in a, not a lot of rain this spring. But anyway, start questioning. Question authority. Don't take it. Don't take it for what they say. I wouldn't even take it for face value. Just because one doctor, Doctor Evil, says no, 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 this, no, 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 that, that you're all of a sudden going to listen to him. And the funny thing about it is. People think the mainstream media is fake. But where are they getting their information now? Because they're scared. They're getting it from mainstream media. Mainstream media has hyped this stuff so much. It's crazy. The numbers are getting... Numbers are getting twisted around and... All sorts of crap. Businesses are going out of business because they can't afford to not be selling their wares or whatever. They can't afford that. But anyway, question authority. Question, question, question. Quit sitting around. This is my uh, nectarine tree. It's supposed to be a dwarf, but that thing thing's about 10 feet tall. It's about 5 years old also planted the first year we moved here but uh, question them don't uh, don't take it at face value research it I'm telling you there's different different story to everything you have truth you have lies, and then you have something in between. You just remember that uh, dangerous freedom is better than peaceful slavery. Hey, Sergeant Prepper out. We shall talk at you next time.